Hey Calculus, this is uh, Tuesday's lesson, so that is the 4th, and we are going to look at Volumes of Revolution again, and before I start I'll talk about Math League again. So Math League will be Friday, and the topics are all integration, all things integration. You have to take a normal integral with the power rule. You have to use different, you have to use, uh, find the integral, the definite integral, where you have a value to plug in once you take the integral. We have values from the top and the bottom there. And you have to do integration to find the distance that an object travels given the velocity curve and the time. You are given the rate and you're asked to find the amount. Both of these, um, so a rate of flow and then you're asked to find the amount. So the rate of flow per time, given a certain amount of time, what is the amount of water or whatever. And what else is on the need? It was all integration. And I believe it was more doable than some of the other tests that we've seen from the math league. So all things integration. Um, okay, so, and volumes of revolution is a good topic to cover before we look at this little math league exercise. All right, so far, let's recap. We've had, we looked at a function that went like this. Whoops, like that. Once you spun it around the x-axis. So we had this function and we broke it up into disks and we found that the volume of one disk has a thickness and the thickness is a dx. So we're going to add up an infinite number of these disks and their volumes are pi r squared dx, but the r is related to the point xy on the original function, so the radius is that the x or the y. It's obviously the y, so we can replace r with y squared, but the variable of integration is x, so we have to look at the function and define it in terms of x, and there's always a way to do that. So we'll call it f of x. All right, that's the theory. And these will add up from wherever the object starts to where it ends. All right, so that's some of what we saw in theory. And then we spun it around the other way. And say we had this function. And we're going to go around the y-axis. And this time our disks go this way, the radius, and they have a thickness as well. So we're going to stack these up from C to D. So the integral from C to D of pi r squared, and this time the thickness is a dy. And r is associated with this point x, y. We go x over and y up, so it's an x value. The radius is x, but we want to work this in terms of y, so we're going to call it f of y. It's quantity. Oops, keep writing x. f of y doesn't come out naturally. So f of y quantity squared. All right, again, that's in theory. And we took on the complication where we took a function and we cut it off at y equals 1, and we took this and revolved it around y equals 1. 
So we can also revolve around non-axes. So this is not the x-axis or the y-axis. It's a different line, so we can revolve around other lines. So we revolve this around y equals 1. When we did that, we found that we could split this up into disks as well. And these disks are going to be stacked up from here to here. Whatever this intersection point is, the x value of it. So we're going to integrate from a to b, pi r squared, and the thickness of each disk is going to be dx. So the radius, in this case, if we call this y equals 1, for example, the radius is, if it is related to this point on the function, which is x, y. So we went over x and up y, but the whole from here to here is y, but we only went from here to here. So we take the y value minus 1. So the radius term is a little trickier. We're going to have the y value minus 1 quantity squared, but we don't want to use y. We're going to use f of x. All right, so these are easier to do when you see, when you do them yourself, but this is the theory and the thought process. All right, today we're going to add to that by looking at a third scenario. So I guess I would call these first two the first scenario regular ones. This one added the complication of non-axes axis of revolution. So the actual line that we revolve around is called the axis of revolution. So these are not on the axes. So the only change is the R is a little trickier. You have to draw it to catch algebraic expression for R. All right, on this next complication, and this is probably all I'll do tonight, is going to be one like this. Take the area bounded by these lines. Y equals square root of X, the X axis, and x equals 6. No, x equals 3. Let's take that area. So let me sketch that. So, square root of x, something like that. x equals 3. Right here. And the x-axis. So we have this area right here. And we're going to revolve it around x equals 6. So we're going to find 4, 5, 6. This is the axis of revolution. So we're going to revolve this around this. So do you see this is going to come over on this side, way over here, and create a similar shape. And so I'll be stretching my drawing capacities here. So this will be going around like that. And this will be going around like that. So. All right. So we're going to have a figure with a hole in the center of it. So when we have that happening, we can find the volume of the solid by doing a, first we'll put in a disk. I'll pick this one, say, right here. And it has a thickness. So do you see this penny or disk that I put here? And that is the outer disk. And then there's an inner disk where the hole is. So, 
This method is called the washer method. And washers are like little tools that have a hole in them. So that's a, it looks just like a washer. So to get the area or the volume, we are going to do the integral of the outer disk minus the inner disk. And that will get us the value of just this one disk. And we're going to add up an infinite number of those. And these disks will actually add up from 0 to whatever this intersection point is. But let me remind you, this was y equals cube square root of x, and this was the value 3. So square root of 3 will be that value right there. So we'll be piling these washers up on top of one another from 0 to pi square root of 3. So let's look at their thickness. Their thickness is between my thumbs. So that is in that difference is dy. So I'm going to have an expression with respect to y. The variable is going to be y. Now, the outer disk has a radius, so let's look at that. If I can draw it. Um, I'm going to go this way because the function is right there. So I'm going to draw that line right there. Kind of dark so you can see the radius. Alright, that's the radius of the outer disk that I drew. So, what is that value? Well, it's related to this point, and that point is xy on the graph. So, so I go over x and up y. So the radius, if I say that this value here, if I went over x and up y, this little spot here is x. But I need from here to here is x, and from here to here is what? So if I call, I know I revolved around the line uh, x equals 6. So from here to here is 6. From here, from the axis to the dotted line is 6. And I want from this point to the dotted line. And this little value here is x. So therefore, the radius is going to be 6 minus x. I'm going to square that and come back and mess with that in a minute. The inner disk, because this area, this uh, part of my area, the uh, part of the shape that I revolved is straight, the inner disk has the same radius everywhere. And it happens to be from here to here. This line is 3, this line is 6. So the radius is always uh, radius is always 3. So the radius is squared. And we need a pi somewhere. Alright, let's work it in y. The original equation y equals square root of x can be written as x equals y squared by squaring both sides. So I'm going to rename x y squared. Alright, so in order to complete that integral I have to square this binomial, combine it with the minus 9, and then integrate and put in the uh, upper limit of integration, subtract the lower, and when I do all that leg work, it comes out to 84 square roots of 3 pi over 5. All right, so just some theory there, outer disk minus the inner disks. All right, we're going to go ahead then and call it a night. So hopefully when you actually do these, this will all make a lot more sense. Volumes of Solids of Revolution. All right, till we meet again, carry on.